Okay, here we are. Um, we are on Almond, A U M A N Road in Preston County. Uh, we have just come out of Cuzzert off of uh, Muddy Creek Road, and I've actually never been down this road before. And normally I go this way, but this way kind of looks like it might have a little bit of allure to it. So. I'm gonna see where it goes. It may just be another tar and chip road, but you never know until you get out and find out. Nice lake, bunch of deer over there. driveway and living good farm lots of potholes is going to turn out to be a dual sport road so we're just going to go ahead and sign this one off all right i've gone down almond road a-u-m-e-n um i've gotten to a point where it looks like the road conditions getting a little worse there was a sign that said posted turn around uh, but according to both my gps's this is a legitimate county road so i'm going down it I don't feel as though I'm trespassing. A farmer with a shotgun might have a different idea, but having gravel on it, or traces of gravel, and being on both GPS's, I'm gonna have to assume that this is, in fact, still a county road. That's not to say that it won't be gated down here. Um, I've actually come across several gated county roads in the past and I've actually asked, called the state road and asked them, what do you do when you come to a county road but it's gated off? Well, I was told that no one, farmers are not allowed to gate county roads, so if there is a gate, go through it. Um, now. Like I said, the farmer may have other ideas. Um, you know, an example of that is Smith, I think it's called Smith Mountain Road over in, I think, Randolph County. It's a prime example. Um, I think really he just gated the road up because he has cattle and um, doesn't want him getting down to Route 33, which would be a mess. But that's what I was told by the uh, county road office. I'll, I'm going to talk to this guy real quick and see what he says. Is it good that way? Is it good? Yeah, you go Okay. What's up, puppy? Looks like we've got a pretty good water crossing right here. Oh, neutral. I wish he wouldn't have had just gone through there because I would have liked to have seen what was in the bottom of this stream. Because it is deep. Holy cow. All right. Well, I'm glad that guy came along. He didn't seem angry. Like an angry landowner, whoever. Oh man, I don't know what's in the bottoms of these big puddles. My luck, bowling ball size rocks. All right, well, hey, I'm glad I found this road. 
got a little adventurous come on no slimy mud no slimy mud uh gosh i have the option to go around but why should i uh, oh boy oh boy i might regret that oh that was mud in the bottom of that thing and that one cleaned off all the mud uh example that guy on that four-wheeler that's awesome that's hospitality glad to see he's getting his kids out and enjoying this these types of roads uh, that hell there's actually a a uh fire marker wow which let's see all arrows point this way despite my gps having uh okay yeah that way shows to be a dead end on the gps yeah so let's go ahead and head down this way follow the arrows really how'd i do that hopefully i'm not out of gas nope must have just been in second gear anyway yeah good hospitality i'm glad i came across that guy it would not have been fun if he was an angry landowner um i'm adamant again it's not trespassing on people's property but uh because i certainly want wouldn't want people cutting across my land Especially if it was causing damage of some sort. All right, which way? Okay, there's a turkey. That way's gated up. So left it is. Anyway, this is again just a prime example, as I mentioned earlier. If you just get out and explore a little bit, and take that road that looks to be a little bit more. Uh-oh. Man, I'm coming to lots of T's in the road. And let's check the GPS here. Mm. I'll tell you what, let's continue this way because it looks like at some point we'll cross a bridge. And I guess that's just as good a reason as any other to, uh, to keep going. Again, that was Almond Road. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video because this looks like uh, regular tar and chip and loose grainy stuff. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy that big tree right there. It's probably well over 100 years old. And uh, thanks for watching.